Hello, folks. Well, I'm assuming that you are all here today to hear our comment on the Auditor General's report. I'll focus uh, in, uh, in particular on the AHS expense audit. You may recall in the, in the session, I asked the Health Minister almost every single day to release all of the expenses of all of the executives of all of the health regions going back to 2008. And this is the reason why. <laughs> Despite the public pronouncements that everything's fixed, it's clearly not. We have $100 million worth of expenses that have taken place over the last 17 months. There is lax controls upon all of it. And we had been told that the centralization of services under AHS was actually supposed to save us money. Instead, all it's done is centralized waste, fraud, and abuse. You have executives who are billing for flame season tickets, for access to the Calgary Stampede rodeo, for video games. If you look at the amount of money that is spent on these non-standard expenses, essentially travel expenses and other things that run through corporate credit cards, $100 million could provide a lot of frontline service delivery. I think, uh, in my mind, as uh, the health critic, uh, what we're seeing today, uh, it's truly, truly unacceptable. Even if you take uh, what, what the leader has suggested, the 100 million could uh, be saved. We're looking at layoffs for frontline workers and uh, folks, it's just, it's just not right. Uh, there's no other thing to say other than it's just not right. The, the reason these practices are in place now strikes me is because they were probably a carryover from the bad practices that were in place under the former health regions. So we need to get to the bottom of the problem and we need to make sure that every executive who is responsible for misusing their corporate credit card is no longer in a position where they can do so again. And we also make to, need to make sure that every illegal expense dollar is paid back.